Hello and welcome to my new video. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I guess everybody uh, of us has the problem with the glitter sinking down to the bottom of the pieces. And how to prevent that? This is what I show in this video. What I want to show you today, I have seen uh, on the channel from Daniel Cooper. Um, just go ahead and check him out. His channel is really nice and he does things that really help all of us out. So check it out. It's uh, really knowledgeable. So I have this chunky glitter here, which is like really chunky. Uh, but I wanted to try out whether this works with every glitter that we got. And I use this fine glitter as well. I fill up those cups with resin and um, yeah, I want to do uh, one with the chunky glitter and one with the fine glitter. First I put my little house into the resin and then I will stir this around. Well, if you stir it around, they will get all over the place in the resin, but later on you will see that they will sink up on the bottom, uh, and that's the ordinary thing that they will always do. So with the fine glitter, I'm putting some ordinary school glue in there uh, before I put the glitter in, and as you can see here, uh, the more glue you put in there, the thicker and gloopier uh, the resin gets. So I did that the other way around, um, yeah, <laughs> just to see whether this is a difference or not. So I put the glitter in last. I put as much glue in there as I needed uh, to get it as gloopy as I wanted and then I put my glitter in but you didn't have to use as much glitter as I did right here. So yeah, you just have to stir it around that the glitter will disperse into the resin uh, evenly. On this part, as you can see, the glitter has sunken and I'm putting my glue in after I put the glitter in and to see whether this makes a difference or not. And I will put a lot of glue in there just to see whether this makes a difference or not. But in the end, you don't have to use much glue anyhow uh, to make this thing work. So this mold that I've chosen here was not the right thing uh, to choose for this technique because just to show you, uh, because it's raised in the middle and uh, so the level of the, um, the amount of resin I put in there with the uh, hearts was not enough for the big chunky hearts to yeah, disperse. So I'm putting my other glitter uh, on top of it, and as you can see, it will all mix in together. I was trying to uh, yeah, hinder um, the resin to do that, but that didn't work at all, and then you will see that in the end. And uh, yeah, this is, like I said, not the right mode to show you, and um, that's why this uh, whole thing didn't work this time. When the resin was cured, I put another layer of red resin on top of it just to fill the mold up. And now let's have a look at the disaster. So, and as you can see, you ain't gonna see much. Uh, <laughs> the chunky glitter uh, did color the resin and um, the level of the resin was not enough for the chunky glitter to disperse into the resin. So this didn't really work out. 
And here you can see that uh, this was a little bit raised and it uh, yeah, brought the chunky glitter to move to the sides. The second turnaround, I just mixed up some resin, put some glitter in there, and I put my glue with it in there. And um, I'm stirring it around and filling my mold up um, with this resin. This is right after mixing, and as you can see, the resin will really uh, be easy to pour in there. But the more time passes, uh, the thicker the resin will get, and then you have problems putting it into little molds like that. So you got to keep that in mind. So this is the result uh, of my second try, and um, I have to say this really worked beautifully. And uh, you see that the glitter is dispersed evenly in the resin. So the last experiment I make is uh, with this little cupcake mold thing and uh, I have this um, pink piece of silicon here and I made that for um, a tea light so I can make a candle holder with it. So this is resembling the tea light when you can put it in there. So what I did, I, uh, I put a little bit of glitter in there, not too much because the more glitter uh, you put in there, to, the more dense uh, and uh, the less see-through it will be. So I figured I try a little bit at a time and I just didn't really put a lot of glitter in there. So now it's time to put the glue in and I put about two drops in there and this is uh, way enough for that little cup of resin. As you can see, uh, the resin gets gloopy uh, right away. It's kind of, uh, it looks slimy to me somehow. <laughs> so um, I'm just turning it around really well and um, yeah, now I'm pouring it into my little mold there. Of course, I didn't make enough resin, um, so I had to mix up some more because uh, the level of the resin in the cupcake thing is not uh, enough to really cover the uh, silicon inlay that I have in there. So I mixed some more and uh, of course this is less resin and uh, the same amount of glitter, so the glitter will be much denser on the bottom. And because the amount of resin that I put in there is much less than uh, before, you can see how really gloopy it got right there. I now fill up the mold and then we have to wait about 24 hours till the resin is cured.
If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. This is really important to us YouTubers because the algorithm will uh, show our videos more if we have more thumbs up. But a comment and a subscription would really uh, yeah, make my day too. Thank you. It's demolding time and I can really easily get this out of the cupcake mold and as you can see I had a little bit of seepage underneath but this is not no problem because uh, the resin is still a little bit on the softer side so I can just cut it off with my cutter knife. The problem that I had with getting uh, the silicon inlay out of, um, yeah, of this tea light holder is I put the wider side on the bottom or on the top so I couldn't really get it out uh, the easy way so it took me about five minutes uh, to get only the uh, rubber piece out so um, I have some sharp edges um, and in order to handle the um, piece I had to rub it uh, I had to sand it down a little bit but it was kind of a hard work <laughs> to get the thing out So I finally got the thing out and as you can see here um, the glitter is dispersed throughout the piece uh, in the same way. Of course it's where it's thinner, less glitter than where the piece is a little bit thicker and on the bottom is of course more glitter than um, on the rest of the piece uh, but I explained that earlier already. I take my nail file and set down the edges a little bit so it's getting straight and um, yeah, it looks neater. I have to say this experiment worked really good and uh, I will have this uh, in my mind when I have to have glitter all the way all over the place and not just on the bottom. So these are the final results and as you can see I uh, made some stuff out of those pieces that I made and um, yeah if you want to know uh, how I finished those pieces up and um, yeah you want to see it just leave me a comment in the comment section and I will make a short video uh, of that process. So I hope you had a lot of fun just like me and I hope I see you next time. Bye bye!